What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Now, it's been a little while since we've been here, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at the career real quick, because we haven't really done much with the career, we've just been hanging out in multiplayer, and I feel like we need to rank up more than a little bit, uh, if we want to actually, uh, if we want to actually get some more cars. Let's see. Um, let's do, let's do this one. Not sure what we get for it, but, uh, let's see. Uh, we're going in the... We're going in the Subi. Because Subi. The Subaru Technica International... Actually, because, uh, because Boxer Engine. And actually, because of that sound, too. It's a really nice sound. I know you keep coming up with more and more and more things as I go along. I didn't even see Insane Filmer's time. I know it was there, and I know it was there as a recommended rival, uh, but I don't know what it was, so we'll just go all out and see what we actually get. Later, Evo. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Try and get some boost built up. Give it a chance to recharge, give it a chance to recharge real quick. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And yeah, definitely taking the shortcut. Because I know for a fact, Insane Filmer does not use shortcuts. He just, he's always just like, I'll stick to the, like, the proper track. Well, it's Need for Speed, so shortcuts are the proper track. At least in my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel about the shortcuts, but I think they're part of the proper track. 20 miles on shortcuts. Not bad. <laughs> Shows how much I take shortcuts. Which is actually not too much. But considering the fact that I've only been playing this particular version of the game for a little while, the PC version, it's probably not bad. I'm not sure, though. And also considering, considering the fact that I haven't been on it in a while. I see a shortcut coming up, but I don't know if it's an actual shortcut. Oh, wait, never mind. That one's a big shortcut. It bypasses a huge corner. There we go. Wow. The voice cracks are real. That's for sure. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Boost out of it. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes. One of the best shortcuts in the game right here. Definitely. This one just can get, can get you so far ahead, especially in multiplayer. If you're the only one that takes it, you've won that, that match. As long as you don't screw it up majorly... Uh, somewhere down the line, you'll be fine. Go, go, go. I think this is the better route to take. I'm not too sure. I think it is, though. Yeah, okay, this is... Well, maybe not, actually. The other one would have been better. Because it bypasses this corner as well. Which would have put me... Actually, all I can see is time now. I wasn't paying attention to that. I just realized I could see his time. 315.13. So hopefully we can either match or beat that. Match or beat that price. Boost out of the corner. Really trying to get on it as much as possible. Just line right around the corner. Oh yeah, we've got it. We're going to destroy his time. Absolutely destroy it. And boom! destroyed his time 253.78 yeah that was an obliteration if that was an actual race he would have been so far behind <laughs> would have had some kind of excuse for it though most likely <laughs> and what did we get oh wow the Aston Martin DBS Volante I didn't even uh, didn't even expect that holy crap Okay, we'll be trying that out. It's because I've been playing so much multiplayer. Share. Yeah, definitely. Send him a little notification. Tell him to up his game. 
Spike strips, okay. Yeah, it's gonna give me a tutorial, but uh, I kind of know how to use these. Based on SCPD technology, the system releases a lethal spiked strip from the rear of your car. If another vehicle drives over the strip, they will be damaged and temporarily You don't say. Use the moment well and make your move. Your vehicle can only carry a limited number of strips and will take time to recharge after each use. So you can't skip this! Jeez! Will let you know when the system is online. Sure you can't skip it. Oh, you can use pretty much whatever you want. Okay, sweet. Um, I am going with the... Boxster Spider. Because it's just a brilliant all-round car. Very, very well balanced. And I think it's probably going to be the best choice for this class. That or... That or the Z4 or the WRX STI or maybe the RX-8. But I feel like the... the um, What's the car called? Oh, I completely forgot. The Boxster. The Boxster Spider. I feel like it's in a totally different league than... Especially the RX-8. Or yeah, it's a, in a totally different league than especially... Um, I, even the Subaru... I know I said the RX-8 only, but I think I feel like the Subaru is, uh, it's in a different league as the Subaru as well. Building up some boost. Hey, leave my paint work alone! Oh yeah, I can get up to speed much quicker than that Subaru can from the last event, that's for sure. It's a lot smoother too, a lot quicker in the corners, a lot more maneuverable. Pretty much better all round. And if I remember correctly, yep, yep, there's a pretty decent shortcut coming up, too. And also cops, by the look of it. This was back when the Taurus Interceptor was a concept. Jeez, now you just see them all over. I love how the cop was the only one that took the shortcut. He's more of a racer than the rest of the racers. Yep, yep, I see him back there. <laughs> Although, there's another racer right there, too, like right on the cop's tail. I'm putting together units ahead of your position. Maintain current route. Oh, crap. <laughs> Not bad, but eh, kind of left me with a lot of damage. Sorry, not take. Oh God! I didn't realize I was gonna spin like that. Actually, I've never spun like that in this game before. Literally, never. I didn't think the physics engine was actually gonna do it. Because normally the physics in this game are really like rigid and stiff. It's the Evo. Yeah, that's uh, that's um. Yeah, Porsche lunch. Ugh. Oh yes, you can have that. Oh wow, I love how it just automatically got me through the roadblock. Damn, I will admit the Evo's quick. At least quick for what it is. Out of the way, jeez. Expecting the cop to help me get him out of the way, but... Not really. He almost got sandwiched between me and the cop car. Oh, really? Come on! Oh, God! Oh! Use the roadblock! Yes! Yes! That worked perfectly. Perfectly. And, yeah, nobody else took the, took the shortcut, except for the cop, which is... Which is fine, it doesn't matter, because I can just hit him with a spike strip. And... Yep, yep, I can go through the mining tunnel. Actually, yeah, there was another cop sitting on the road that I just completely bypassed. Wait, I think he noticed me. Yep, he's on to me. Ah! I didn't think I was actually going to hit. I thought I was further enough to the right, but apparently not. Drop another spike strip off for good measure, and then across the line, and straight to the Mustang, just bounce right off of it. And beat Insane Filmer again. 
I hope he takes this as a challenge because that's what it is. <laughs> what did I get? Oh, I ranked up first of all. I should be getting another car as well. Challenger? I thought I already had the Challenger though. I seriously thought I already had the, the Challenger SRT8. I really did. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently they give it to you after the Aston Martin DBS, which is kind of weird. I don't understand why they do that, but I guess they just do. So if you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more uh, single player playthroughs of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.